What we're trying to do is take these projects out of the learning environment, out of this building here, and take them into the real world and into Berlin, in the Berlin ecosystem. Bond is a digital receipt solution, so we're trying to make it incredibly easy for merchants to issue digital receipts and for customers to get those receipts. We're currently in the process of testing, so we're starting in the factory building, uh, in the restaurant. I think we will be testing it with the factory members within the next two weeks. I'm part of the Sustain team. We do indoor farming for offices. It initially started with Simon traveling to England and discovering a lot of indoor farming uh, products that already existed, but he didn't find one that is specifically made for offices, so that's sort of our niche we found. Well, we are doing a marketplace to um, connect uh, customers and craftsmen. I'm working together with Klaas, my co-founder. He is um, a little bit over 50 years old and quite uh, an experienced UX designer and product manager. I came here one year ago to code to Berlin and founded Arti together with Gabriel. Arti is actually a platform which extends children book titles with augmented reality and so we want to make the story more evolving and more interactive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Token Street is actually the first address for retail investors to invest into real estate. 100% digital, up from one euro and in an easy, seamless and enjoyable way. We're using blockchain technology for that, but not just as a hype or buzzword, but actually to create an entire new financial product. The idea here is to enable everybody, starting with one euro, to invest into real estate and benefit from that. Easy, seamless and enjoyable. Amazing. <laughs> I'm the co-founder of Plan B. We digitalized the cleaning sector. Replaced it with this, our digital solution. I have a good friend, his father has a cleaning company and he asked us, you're really good at this programming stuff, do you want to help us out? We have a lot of workflows that are on paper and they don't work out. Resonance is a mobile application that uses an affordable heart sensor to accurately measure your stress levels and teaches you a personalized breathing frequency that optimally reduces your stress or improves your performance. You can go to our website resonance.so and sign up there for our beta phase. I'm Liam, so I'm from Null, I'm one of the co-founders at Null, and we help companies to offset their carbon footprint of their employees in particular. And it takes only five minutes. It's easy to set up. Each employee calculates their own personal footprint. They pick the project that they would like to be offset into, and each month we help them to live carbon neutral. We help you with all of bureaucratic requirements and uh, regulations if you export something to a country that the European Union has a free trade agreement with. It's super bureaucratic and we made it so much easier with our uh, solution. From now on we will offer support all the time continuously, um, be more flexible in which teams we, ha we are helping helping to inspire code students to turn the project into a company, connecting them with the right people, doing workshops, inviting awesome people from the outside. The biggest thing for me was just having somebody vote, like show a vote of confidence in our idea and take us seriously as like more than just students trying to do something. I really like this community thing that you have so many motivated people around you who are uh, doing their startups. You have the network, you can talk to some mentors, you can reach out to people who already did something. The space is the biggest thing for me, like a physical space to just walk into every morning and sit down and work on your idea is so cool. And then there is a fourth thing, which is the view. Which is the view on Galitza Park and Alexander Paz. It's super spoiling. It definitely has made me think differently about startups and the startup scene because I think I was one of those people that came and I was like, oh yeah, Startup Berlin, it's just so stereotypical, especially working in the factory. But now really going into it and being exposed to it is also really exciting to see the passion that drives people within the industry.